Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Profit Ada for one more learning video tutorial. And uh, today we are going to see that how we can utilize Zero the free API for trading purpose in Python. Okay. So as discussed earlier, traders need to invest money from time to time. These investments can be made in various financial instruments ranging from mutual funds or equities or derivatives or real estate properties or even precious metals like gold or silver. One option is to manage the investments oneself that would involve finding the right investments and carrying out the related research and administration work. The other option is to manage the entire process or job by having an API. So the API helps to automate this entire process such as carrying out the related research and administration work. Okay. Before getting into our favorite ID, uh, let's do talk about the main process. Okay. So I've already done a lot of videos related to generation of, uh, you know, access token, getting that access token and, uh, you know, getting uh, to the placement of orders, uh, getting data, so each and everything. Okay. So as of right now, what happens? Uh, Zero Day is offering a personal API free of cost for investing, trading, and reports API. Okay. So it will be like you know you will get the reports as well uh, that consist of all the APIs. So they are offering personal free of cost. Okay. And in this, uh, as a two thousand rupees, they are offering like all of this stuff with uh, data okay so i must suggest that you can go with the personal free api uh, one more stuff is there uh, which have been already done uh, by getting uh, any kind of a codes or data or uh, even the web socket also which you can check as an enc token so one more video related to as an automated trades in my uh, channel is there so go ahead and watch that Stuff, it will be helpful now uh, getting into url you must require a kite connect okay so you must have like you know uh, get into the cmd and uh, you just have to say pip install kite connect okay so if you watch previous videos it will be helpful uh, so if you just install and i think if you are already dealing with the kite connect you know what i'm doing okay so if you just install kite connect uh, you are good to go. So only the algorithm which I am looking for this kite connect is uh, to get the access token. Okay, so it is an easy step. Like you know, coding all of the algorithms, you just install and uh, you know you just have a separate generation of access token, including your API key and API secret. So I think that will be entirely a different part. An algorithm should always there. Okay. So in this case, what happens, you need to be an API key, API secret and that API uh, stuff helps you uh, to authenticate yourself as we daily used to log in in our trading account to trade. So as we need to do it with our automated traders as well. Okay. And all of the access token is only valid for 24 hours. Okay. So you need to generate at least a in one day as you do it, like you know, for trading uh, stocks, getting your trading website or an app. So this is important. Okay. So all you need to do is just click on this personal free and suggest your app name, give the client ID, whatever you have. In URL, you can suggest anything, uh, post back, even you can uh, give any kind of a website which you are looking for. You can give the kite.trade anything which you are i think you should not interrupt with your uh, generation of request token then only that the site will be helpful okay so i suggest you can go with it okay description just give it programmatic trading or good trading whatever you want and just click on create and after clicking this create what it will do it will give your all of the details if you just uh, click on uh, like you know check 
the details so you will be having API key with that API secret you will be having so if you click on the blocks you will get all of those things okay so generally API key is smaller API secret is larger so put them in a dot text okay dot text file separate API key and separate API secret just uh, give the URL whichever you are looking for okay suggested uh, get this stuff uh, paste it in your local machine and go for it okay so this is you need to do so next step is what you need to do is uh, you should have an URL okay so this is the basic URL very much important okay and then simply remember this URL kite dot zero dot com slash connect slash login and the question mark you need to uh, say which version so it is as of right now it is running kite connect API version 3 and it is uh, running a longer version so when I started it was uh, earlier a version is there suddenly they came up with version 2 and then uh, you know instantly they came up with version 3 and, and that is the end of their version 3 and it is for like you know uh, longer years they have been sticking with version 3 okay so just log in question mark version 3 and API key all you have to do is copy this stuff okay and paste it in your uh, browser okay so after pasting what you, you will get you, you just uh, you know you just have to give it api key equals after that you need to paste your api key which have been shown okay so after giving it will ask for your zero the login if you already done but it will say that you know try to authorize so what are the things you will get you will like you know you will be able to place modify and cancel orders access holdings and positions portfolio viewer account balance and margins viewer profile data data so this will be enough this free stuff is enough to do wonders especially in algo trading okay because as per the data uh, we can get it from enc token or you can try with other broker as well okay so mainly i think every person is holding a uh, two of account you do, if you don't have you can uh, you know check my website you can uh, get with the uh, fives account okay so they offers good variety of data just include so what happens you just uh, you know can fill the orders uh, for instance stock zero and for uh, derivatives uh, files so that is how you can shift uh, otherwise derivatives in this and this so that is how you can utilize it, okay so somewhat i think two uh, especially demit uh, trading account will be helpful a lot okay so whichever you prefer the best go for it okay so this is you need to do okay, so authorize and uh, you will get a request token so in request token what happens you just get in request token and just uh, fill in this algorithm okay so how are you gonna do let's uh, get with the coding part okay so first of all we start with uh, as suggested from you know kite connect import kite connect okay so we need to import the module then all you have to say about the api key so i suggest that you know open the api key which is uh, in dot txt okay so uh, which you need to read so it is very much simple just say dot read parenthesis dot strip parenthesis okay and uh, same thing for api secret as well so i'm in the same folder where i'm coding so you can suggest your folder whichever you are available otherwise just uh, give uh, the uh, the path okay for this purpose so it will be helpful so api secret we have to say okay so we just have to say the same okay and now what do you have to do you just have to mention as in kite okay so instead of referring each and every time as in kite connect just say about the kite connect that he, whatever your api key is holding you to any name it doesn't matter here kite or profit anything whichever you suggest so say api key equals api key now i'm gonna generate the session so i all have to say access token equals what i have to say kite dot generate underscore session and in this what need to do is uh, request token i need to paste and i need to say about the api secret which will be completely api secret okay 
so it will combine our api key and api secret and request token and it will generate an access token okay so i will print and show it to you okay so this is one oh, what i need to do and now next step is uh, you know to paste the url and get the request token okay so just a minute i'll do it and get back to you okay so as you can see uh, this is my request token so you know it can be anything you just have to get the request token and ignore uh, the part whatever it is uh, which is ampersand action or anything or whether there is no ampersand action or something like that just get the request token and uh, you just need to paste in your uh, code so all you have to do uh, access token here and uh, request token paste it here and call the access token okay so let's uh, you know get our access token okay so as you can see i got my access token so is it is important uh, to deal with anything uh, the only generation of this algorithm is uh, is got over so you got your access token so that is enough you don't have to go it uh, uh, you know again to generate the access token you just got your access token and that say that that i got my access token and just deal whatever you want okay so here i got my access token and let's see uh, to any of uh, things is required so uh, you know so i need to set this access token okay so what i can say uh, that you know i need to deal with any of this uh, session so i need to say that kite dot set underscore access underscore token and i need to give this access underscore token okay. uh, so now what happens after setting this i can do anything so you know instead of uh, kind of placing any orders if I just need to call this uh, instruments, I think that will be helpful. Okay, so I will just uh, show you uh, one more thing to help you out that uh, this access token is working. So I will just call in my data frame uh, the list of instruments. Okay, so I will say kite instruments. okay so i think this will be helpful so let's uh, go with this stuff okay so as you can see i'm able to print and able to access the instruments and even you can utilize for placing orders and other stuff okay so what are the things you can do you can just uh, check uh, the previous video of mine uh, that is you know getting the enc token and dealing with other stuff and uh, that i think there is a kite api documentation is also there so please go with it i think the previous video which is uh, related to the automated orders okay i think that is very much an awesome part so i suggest that go with it okay and uh, there is a github page is also there so you can just check it out and if you got any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct by WhatsApp. Thank you.